So back here, Fountain Hills Concourse. Uh, check out this neat uh, road race Ford Falcon. Most people don't think of Falcons as road racers. Uh, ironically, I owned one for a short period of time. Uh, not a road racer though. Uh, now this is actually, um, it, it, it's actually mine. Uh, Small Fortune Racing uh, A mod, but also a kind of a Pikes, Peep, uh, Pikes Peak hill climber. Big wings, of course. Uh, Kawasaki uh, ZX1200, uh, ZX12 drivetrain. <laughs> Uh, and then we have uh, Brett Angle's beautiful uh, Lotus Salon, which I've raced against. Uh, pretty cool car. Uh, give you an example, uh, without oil and fuel and stuff, this car is only about 100, 200 pounds l l heavier than my two frame uh, sports racer. Uh, and then we have a whole ro uh, a few here of our uh, beautiful Can-Am cars. Uh, most of these are V8 powered, big, big power. This one's a Lola. Uh, very lightweight, uh, monocoque aluminum construction here. These are uh, built very late 60s, early 70s, and effectively were too fast to be safe. Uh, these things were wickedly fast. Uh, Porsche uh, and McLaren and Penske uh, kind of destroyed the class because they came out uh, with, you know, beautiful sports racers, but with around 1,000 horsepower uh, and just were wickedly fast. Uh, and uh, just think of the brakes and tires of that era. Uh, great example here. Uh, this one obviously is a little more sealed off, a little more slippery per se, uh, but not as high a downforce. But you'd be surprised with a little bit of under, with tunnels underneath, uh, they can produce quite a bit of downforce. Again, mostly V8 powered, very, very fast. 